Hey guys, it's Farmer Brad here. I wanted to show you how I uh, water my chickens out on pasture. I fill up this 25 gallon portable water tank with my zero turn radius mower. Then I drive the lawnmower out to pasture. And Marshall decides to help. I first move the chicken tractor. That way, if I have to step in there for any reason, I don't have to step in a whole bunch of chicken poo. I disconnect this side, connect the other side, release this pin. I have access to the chickens. While watching to make sure that none of the chickens get pinned by anything, but the roost bars actually help the nudge the chickens forward. Then if there's any gaps around the chicken tractor, I shove these feed bags in there to fill in the gap and keep predators out. Here, so I'll just shove that in there. Now I hop on the lawnmower and pull up to the chicken tractor. Place this end in the hole in the middle. I hook this up. So, fun. And now it is filling that bucket full of water. And then I'll just do the other over there. Another option you can do is attach a five gallon bucket to the back of the chicken tractor and then have that five gallon bucket feed these two so you don't have to hop in there and mess with it and then that way you can just fill it up from the back and then you'll have more water capacity per chicken tractor while while the water is filling up I'm going to feed the birds in the feed trough and this guy right here he just wanted to join the meat birds so I have him keeping an eye on the meat birds and he's very protective of the meat birds he's just making sure I'm doing everything right his name's Fred the free-ranging rooster and do two two gallon buckets full of feed I also fill the bucket in front of the chicken tractor that way if I happen to spill any the birds can pick it up tomorrow just pour it into the feed trough now Fred wants to get back in there one just filled up now I'm filling that one and then on this chicken tractor I have seven gallons of water available for them. This is the last bit of birds from my first batch. Uh, they're needing to get processed any day now. How I have this set up, I have some turnbuckles attached to this modified uh, welding cart. And uh, it makes uh, pulling it really, really easy. It also keeps the pulling uh, from a low angle. So there's more pressure on it going forward than being lifted up. And I just like uh, putting these here. It really standardizes all the chicken tractors. That way I can hook it up to the back of my zero turn radius mower and pull it anywhere it needs to go. Put from the lid. And it looks like Fred is contemplating about hopping back in there. Come on, Fred, go back in the chicken tractor. Close it up Oop. and refasten this hasp and latch. <laughs> and this chicken tractor is good to go. Now I'm up at the front of the homestead where I have a John Siskovich chicken tractor. This one is a 10 by 10 Peterson chicken tractor, um, which is based off of the 8 by 8 Peterson chicken tractor. Now the major difference with this, other than it being 10 by 10, is that I had to rip some 2 by 6 by 8 uh, by 10 foot boards because I couldn't acquire 2 by 3 by 10 boards. Then in the middle I also put a half inch uh, conduit, a uh, 10 foot piece bent, and what that does is it keeps the water from collecting too much on here and collapsing the tarp roof. But uh, yeah, they're doing great. Uh, 
and this is my front setup. So I ended up bringing the dolly up here to make moving these easier. I mentioned earlier, one of the features I like of the Peterson chicken tractor is that I can see directly the birds when I'm doing the move. Hard to pull it one-handed, but the dolly makes it a little bit easier. Now the bigger chicken tractor is a little bit more difficult to do turns, but if you plan for the turn early on, you can do a little bit of it each day. So the 10 by 10 has been moved and this dolly makes it really easy. If you like the setup that you see here, you can have it on your homestead as well. I have chicken tractor plans uh, available for pre-order right now. I'm working on trying to finish those up. Uh, if you go to farmerbrad.com forward slash chicken tractor, all one word, and you can uh, check out more information about it. Have a great day and stay safe.